It's Wednesday. It's middle of the working week. And as always here at the Backyard Tech Channel, Wednesdays mean midweek update time. Let's get into it. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is Wednesday, it is middle of the working week and uh, it is midweek update time as I said. And um, <clears throat> I'm the only person in Geelong this morning. Most of Geelong and a fair bit of the eastern and northeastern side of Melbourne is covered in a thick blanket of fog. It's a complete piece soup outside at the moment. I woke up um, and, and I couldn't see the lights of Geelong. Normally where I am, I'm on a hill um, in the outer eastern suburbs, and I can look over Geelong as you've seen in the past. I can't see anything. I can't even see the lights. The fog is that thick. It's a total piece of soup. And a couple of freeways out in my old side of Melbourne, the eastern and southeastern side of Melbourne, um, drivers are doing like 40 k's an hour. They're 100 k freeways, and they're doing 40 k's an hour because they can't see. Visibility is very, very low this morning. It's just gone quarter past seven in the morning here. And before we get into the rest of the midweek update, coffee time. Oh, that's better. All right. Let's jump straight into the midweek update and I'll let you know what's on the channel for the rest of the day. And we kicked it off with the IT acquisitions video of my new Acer AT350 F2 server, which is now my bare metal hypervisor. And, um, I've got to be honest, it is official, it is the most powerful x86-64 based, or x86 and x86-64 based server I have ever had. It has got some serious get up and go in it. Um, you know, I, the last couple of ACES servers I've had in production mode haven't exactly been you know, rip-roaringly powerful. This one, oh, look, even at 2.4 gig, it, it's hammering. It is absolutely hammering. Um, uh, it just runs everything beautifully. We then um, started to build up the new ESXi hypervisor. We did the video about the ESXi update, op systems reinstall and the audio fix. We had our Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations for a Sunday night. We had the TBIM promo. Does it have to be Monday? Um, I did a dare video. I was, actually, I was actually dared to actually make a coffee video. That's why I put it up. A friend of mine got in touch with me and said, oh, I dare you to make a video on how you make your coffee. So that's why that one went up. <laughs> um, we did a video on reinstalling uh, some of my virtual machines. We had the Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations from Monday night. Yesterday, uh, well, it is official. I want to cancel yesterday. I just want to write yesterday off. It was an absolute disastrous day um, for me and the channel. Um, we had the uh, Q&A and advice video about setting up test bench scenarios for small businesses and sole traders. We did the ESXi rebuild take three because I was a complete idiot. I still don't know what I did or how I mucked up that configuration. I can only, like I said, I can only assume I was in a hurry because I wanted the hypervisor back up and running. And then last night's live stream convo where it almost all worked and then fell apart dramatically. So, yeah, I can't fathom what the hell I did wrong with my server update because I'm normally pretty good with that. I say normally because it doesn't always happen if my camera goes blue again. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, I can only assume I was rushing. Um, which isn't the first time. So, there's the midweek update done. Not a bad start to the week. Um, actually, no. Correction. Terrible start to the week. We'll restart the week today. How's that sound? <laughs> I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll restart the content uh, content count today. 
Speaking of which, what have we got coming up on the channel today? Well, late last night I had a guy come around to drop off a Linksys desktop switch. You know, one of the, well, not this one, but it's one of Linksys's ones like this. Um, 10 100 port um, network switch. And apparently the fault is you turn it on and all the lights just flash. There is no network con connectivity through the switch. I think I already know why without actually having pulled it apart. But considering how it was held to the top of his mini tower case and a lot of um, sticky lines, shall we say, I have an awful suspicion this may have just got very hot inside. So we'll be pulling that apart and having a bit of a sticky, week, sticky beak at it. We're going to take a look at the 80 series today as well trying to figure out what this leak, where this leak is coming from. Now, it's not the transmission, I know that. It's not the power steering. I don't know what else is leaking. So we're going to have a bit of a sticky beak into that today as well. Also coming up, we'll have tonight's Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations, midweek edition. And if I get to it, uh, an open man driver video for you. Also, actually, before I forget, we've also got a system set up and product review video for you today as well. I've had a viewer video request for to take a look at a Linux-based server operating system. It is a CentOS-based distro um, by a viewer and subscriber here at the Backyard Tech Channel. So we're going to take a look at that as well. Now, also coming up this week, I've been contacted by a business that deals with data recovery um, wanting me to have a sticky beak at a piece of software they've released to market um, now <clears throat> I use for data recovery here at the Backyard Tech Channel it's ASUS and Macrium that, that's what I use uh, ASUS Partition Manager and uh, that and uh, Macrium backup software. This uh, company's got in touch with me to see whether or not I'd give their software, uh, well, what appears to be the Backyard Tech Channel treatment, going to have a sticky beak at it. Um, I'm going to have a look at the software first before I agree to do the video. They contacted me um, early this morning, my time. So we'll be having a look at that during the week, but I want to have a look at the software before I, before I even consider agreeing to do the review of it. Um, so I'll try and get that out in the next couple of days as well. They've contacted me a couple of times now, so I've got to get that onto that. So there we are. Uh, a little bit coming up throughout the channel today. Hopefully enough to keep you guys happy. Whether old mate here spits the dummy again, I don't know. Jeez, I spat the dummy last night, didn't I? I don't know. I had, uh, the worst thing is, I had ESX I working beautifully, and then the server packs up, the power supply packs up, and then it just, I, I can't get it back the way I had it. That's the frustrating thing about it. I, it was working beautifully until the power supply cooked. At least this new one's got a spare one in it. That's the good news. And they're slightly cheaper too than, than the Super Micros out of the old one, because they're shorter, but they're also, I, I've looked up the price of replacement for those. PSUs and they are slightly cheaper, which is, I guess, a good thing. Stick around, fair bit coming up on the channel today. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.